best insecticide for insects and bugs in the garden hello welcome to seven savings garden where we talk about gardening ways to save money and other special events if you're new to the channel please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get notified of all upcoming videos so as you can see i have a serious infestation of uh, these uh, bugs over here and and they're eating my, my pumpkin and they're eating a lot of uh, pumpkin leaves and they're almost destroying the pumpkins uh, leaves and the pumpkin itself so i'm gonna try to make sure i try to get rid of them as you can see they're, they're eating uh, continuously and uh, so if you don't get rid of them uh, they're gonna uh, eat all the leaves and kill the plants um it's i saw them uh, a week ago but they were not this this many but all of a sudden uh all of them uh, they're eating all the leaves and the population has like tripled within the past uh, week or two so definitely something i have to get rid of so i'm gonna have to um, use a, a spray to do that you may also have um, leaves like this that the uh, that has a lot of holes like this this is caused by insects the insects very tiny microscopic insects that eat on the leaves and as you can see they're just munching on the leaves and finally will kill the leaves and uh, kill the plants uh, since the plant cannot absorb nutrients from uh, from the sun so uh, that's one other reason why I want to eliminate uh, eliminate all these uh, insects so this is a bug um, insect killer it says it can kill uh, more than 235 insects and it can spray up to 5,300 square feet. And the protection says the protection lasts for six months. I don't think so, but at least it's going to be able to kill the insects that are in your garden. And then you can, uh, at least after a month or two, if they start coming back, then you can maybe reapply it again. But um, I'm, I'm using this as a last resort right now because of the uh, uh, bugs that we have uh, in the garden, we had in the garden one important thing uh they have uh, there's a leaflet behind you that tells you how long you can harvest um how long you can harvest the vegetable after spraying uh but my regular rule of thumb is if you have any vegetables that you're gonna harvest within a week or two harvest it before you spray it so that way you don't um lose uh your vegetables so usually um if you have anything that's gonna be ready uh within a week or two weeks um harvest it before spraying so that way you don't um lose that uh vegetable in the garden because after spraying it is not advisable to harvest it uh, most um longest time that it provides is like two weeks so i just use the best way to do is just use two weeks so this is what i did last night i uh i connected the hose to the end of this uh, whole sprayer and I use um, bug be gone and I just sprayed all the uh, all all the pumpkins and all the vegetables because we had uh, like it's like I showed you the bugs that are, that were over there I sprayed it and you can see now the bugs are all gone let me give you a detailed view of it so uh, this is it uh, after spraying it the next day as you can see uh, can't see any any of those uh, bugs on it anymore. It's all gone. They are all gone, and what happened? They are dead. You can see down here. You can see down there. And let's let me show you where we have more. Right here all on the ground dead or dying they're all on the ground it's fabulous just 12 hours after spraying it look at the damage they did here
even though I don't like to use it I because of it's a chemical and it's a I, I don't like to use it but when situations call extreme situations call for uh, drastic measures like that I am not gonna hesitate to use it to save uh, what I'm growing and, uh, and uh, what I usually do is after I spray it I don't harvest any of the vegetables for at least two weeks at least it gives it time for the uh, the uh, chemi chemical to flow off the uh, plant system and it's not gonna still be left in the system so I usually don't harvest any of the vegetables for like two weeks um, so that's what I do um, so definitely uh, it's it's a product that really works well I wanted to do the neem oil but the neem oil um, was gonna work eventually but it was gonna take a little bit longer and I wanted it gone as soon as possible as you can see this one right here is dead so as soon as you spray it all of them as you can see the pumpkin right there still growing so as soon as you spray it it kills uh, the insects I see one over here It doesn't look like it's moving. It looks like it's nothing behind the leaves. So that's good. So if it, if it gets rid, rid of 98, 99% of them, that's fine. It's gonna take a while for them to be able to do that much harm. So that's good. Okay, I just wanted to show you guys what I've done and uh, how it's going. Um, hopefully this, uh, helps you out i'll put a link to the uh, to to the uh, insecticide below uh so if you're interested in getting it um i'll put the link below so you can you can use it in your garden if it's really if you have stuff that uh, insects eating your your vegetables like like i just showed you it's definitely something to use so hopefully uh, this helps you out okay that's it for today i hope you like the video if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel and uh, don't forget to share. Thanks for watching. Happy growing.